guys, in this lesson we are going to continue the project um, creating the side panel with the Maya bridge tool. Uh, but before to do that, we have to save the scene going in a file, save scene as, and I call it it zero uh, two uh, creating fenders and uh, you can uh, do uh, the same uh, once uh, we have done uh, uh, that uh, we uh, can um, continue the project uh, keeping in mind um, uh, that we uh, have uh, follow uh, the uh, guideline uh, of our reference. Uh, we have uh, uh, many uh, cut for uh, each uh, object uh, for the door, for the fender, for the for the skirt, and uh, we have uh, this line cut uh, for uh, the uh, door. And uh, also uh, this line cut uh, for the for the skirt. Uh, mm, so uh, the first thing uh, to do uh, is uh, add the tail uh, to our uh, shape. We have uh, to uh, create uh, a, a new age group in uh, this position and uh, another age loop in this position and uh, uh, for, for the cut um, and uh, another uh, age loop uh, in this position for uh, the uh, uh, sculpt uh, door uh, so uh, to do that uh, we can select uh, the object and uh, we can uh, press uh, and hold on uh, the spacebar uh, to get uh, the hotkey uh, editor and uh, we can choose uh, uh, mesh tool and uh, we can go in uh, insert age loop tool for the attribute uh, we can uh, um, let the relative distance from the age and now we uh, can uh, uh, add uh, age loop uh, ER for uh, the, uh, the sculpt line and uh, another age loop uh, ER uh, uh, for the uh, 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 door cut uh, line and another age loop ER uh, for uh, uh, the skirt uh, cut. Uh, the same thing we have to do uh, in this uh, part uh, and uh, we can uh, add the tail in this position and in this position and uh, we have uh, to add uh, a new uh, age loop in this position we can do uh, going on uh, uh, this uh, 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 icon uh, to uh, uh, recall uh, uh, the last uh, um, command and we uh, can uh, add a, in uh, age loop uh, here. All right. Uh, now we have uh, to place better this point. Uh, and the same for this part. Right, we add this cut line uh, uh, later, 
and now uh, we uh, can use uh, the uh, uh, bridge uh, Maya tool uh, to create a, a new uh, uh, geometry um, between uh, the front fender and uh, the rear. We uh, uh, can uh, uh, select this edge one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine edge, and uh, the same thing we can do uh, for this edge one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now we can go uh, in uh, uh, Edit Mesh and we can choose Bridge Attribute. We can reset setting uh, and uh, we can uh, let linear path with five division and uh, we can press Bridge. And now we have uh, a new geometry uh, for the uh, mm, door panel. We can uh, select all uh, this uh, edge loop and we can press R on the keyboard for the scale tool. And we can do the same thing for the other edge loop. Right, and now we have to follow the guideline of our reference with the move tool and uh, let's uh, go to follow this line this way We have to follow the uh, door cut line and the, the sculpt door line. In this way, we can select all this vertex and uh, we can take uh, them in this position All right and uh, we have to move this vertex for the sculpt door way All right and also we have to pull down it in this way this line for the side skirt
right and uh, and now we uh, have created the side panel uh, with the uh, the uh, uh, the cut line All right This way, all right. Don't uh, forget uh, to save uh, uh, our project. Uh, so uh, let's go in a file and uh, we can. Uh, uh, choose save scene as we can call it uh, uh, zero uh, three uh, underscore uh, side panel and uh, uh, save as all right and uh, in the next lesson uh, we are going to see uh, uh, how uh, uh, modeling the the app uh, uh, of uh, the door and uh, the uh, fender thank you for watching see you in the next lesson